Hello, Wayans. Welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is the new patch, Mandate of Heaven with Filthy Robot. How's it going, Filthy? I'm doing well, man. Uh, I'm looking forward. I haven't, this is blind for me. I haven't had time to look into any of these mechanics, so kind of this is going to be a lot of exciting new stuff for me. So Yeah, you just dive in blind and uh, and then hope that it goes well. <laughs> yeah. What could go yeah. wrong? Nothing. Okay, yeah. so where's my player's map mode? Where are you playing right now? You've chosen the nation of... Yaren. Yeren, so you're going to try out the tribes, right. Okay, so you want to do Manchu culture, the tribal things, and you get to use your fancy pants Connet CB and stuff. Yeah, those things. You got bonuses to loot speed, reinforce speed. You can have, what, I think 100% cavalry? Yeah, my uh, religion gives me 25% for that, and I think one of my ideas gives me 25% for that. That's not an idea. One of my starting things, maybe? Let's take a quick look. Base value, religion, step nomads. So, yep, 100% cav if I, if I want it. It should be expensive. Nice. Oh yeah, uh, that is very expensive. I have chosen Pegu. We wanted to both be in Asia. We both want to see some of this like Celestial Empire, Ming stuff, the Empire of China, whatever the hell it's called. However, uh, we didn't want to like play as Ming because that would be kind of OP, right? Ming is yeah. really strong. They make twice as much money as the Ottomans at the start of the campaign. Do they really? Yeah, they are really, really strong right now. So. Um, yeah, I'm playing as Pegu. I'm just on the opposite side. I'm gonna mess around with Protectorate. No, Not they don't. I remember, they make four, uh, three times pretty much as much. Ming's at 818. Ottomans are at 280. That's that's oh, that's money in the treasury. I'm sorry. Uh, it is still almost three times though income though. It's 70 compared to 26. That's oh, so I much. I can't even see. I can't even see the Ottomans yet. But that it might take a month to update though. Did you see all this stuff at the top of the ledger now? You can actually filter by allies, rivals, war enemies, positive that's opinion. Quite nice. There's a lot of really cool uh, user interaction type stuff. So, anyway, I'm playing as Pegu. Uh, I've already messed with my estates a little bit so I can steal some monarch points at the start of the game because you know, you gotta do that, obviously. Yep, clearly. Take all the take all the things. Yep. Um. How do you feel about your position up there? I have no available alliances, this worries me, and my three rivals, the people who have chosen to rival me, are directly, all of them border me and are adjacent to each other, so I don't feel great. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. I started building units as soon as the game started. <laughs> I can see why you would do that, yes. It makes sense. Yep. I'm going to leave my third rival unassigned until I uh, get some sense of uh, unpausing here. Yeah, I haven't even, I haven't even specified a rival yet, because... I wanted to, to get an idea of like what kind of allies I can pick up. Now we're playing on very hard difficulties, so Yep, one up I from last have, time. Huh, I only have one available alliance and it's Long Zhang, who is rivaled to Ait Thaya, and I'm kinda concerned. I don't know. I don't know how it works with uh with this whole tributary system. I think tributaries can attack each other. So if if Ming Yeah, Ming has Long Zhang and Ait Thaya both as tributaries. So I think that they're allowed to attack each other. Which, that's scary. I, I, I think I, I would kick Long Zhang's butt. It would not be good. Hmm. Yep. Could be a problem. I'm gonna try out this new, uh, this new improve relations thing. Have you seen that yet? On the yeah. Diplomatic macro building. I haven't. I haven't. You wanna uh, talk about that? I will take a look with you. Yep. It's the. Uh, the new tab, shortcut key zero. You can improve relations with nations automatically. No longer filthy. Do you need to worry about your keeping your diplomats busy? You can just tell them, improve relations with my neighbors, and they'll go and just do it automatically. That's pretty nice. Or improve relations with allies, improve relations with threatening countries, that kind of thing. Yeah. Super fan super good, super fancy. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that a lot. I'm kinda of considering becoming a tributary of Ming just to maybe be safe, I'm not sure. Let's see, I would find I would actually accept a royal marriage, which means I might even be able to get an alliance with him. I wanted to go that route. As per normal, the start of a campaign, we have a hard time actually unpausing. But we should unpause soon, right? Yeah, probably be good. I'm gonna set my rivals then. I guess we rival Arakan? I don't know. Decide if it's worth the uh, diplomatic hit to go privateer an area. Mm -mm -mm. It's definitely going to piss off Korea.
Probably cheering right away. That does seem kind of dangerous. Yeah. Tell that I privateer, privateer my own primary collection node, which I'm considering doing just for the power projection versus my rival, who has the most of it, that node. Eric is very strong, evidently. I have to take rivals, so... Yeah, pretty brutal, brutal right? Yeah, is what it is. I have no diplomat free. Uh, okay, well, I'm ready to, uh, to unpause if you are. Yeah, go ahead. A little, little bit nervous here. I'll go speed one for a second, just while we do yeah. some of the initial diplomatic actions and stuff. That'd be good. Don't spawn with any kind of leader. Longjong allied, allied Lana, my ally. Two my, rival. my rivals allied each other like assholes. <laughs> Wait, two of your rivals allied each other? Mm -hmm. That's not good. No, I know. No, I'm quite worried about all. it. Fortunately, no one's allowed to declare war till December the 12th, so we're not dead yet, right? <laughs> we have till the 12th, you're saying? Excellent. Basically. So that uh, new interaction, right? the one that I can click that builds me five calf? Yeah. Uh, you want to know how it builds us? You think it builds them spread out so I get them all at once? <laughs> no. No, oh, that's fucking actually, course not. It's not a new interaction. That one's been around for a while. The one you're thinking of that's new is the Manchu tribe state oh, I see. interaction thing. Well, I have never played as a tribe, and when we were talking about it earlier, you were telling me. We must have yeah. miscommunicated there, because I thought that was new, too. But... Looks like I'm going to try to go for an alliance with Ait Thayat instead of the other guy. Because Lang Zhang has allied Lana, who I rivaled. So, great. This is going to be a fantastic episode where we just fail to pronounce words. Yeah, that would be, I think, a large portion of this, uh, of this game, though. This campaign. So this area is hard for me to pronounce. Oh, yes, that's where I wanted my horse built. On the far edges of my country. Perfect. So, what's your uh, what's your government type? Like, government are you allowed to type? do royal marriages uh, Let's take a look. What is my you're, government you're a horde. point? I'm a canate. Canate? Okay. Uh, am I allowed to do royal marriages? I believe... I think I see the option. Let me see if it's currently read it out, of course. Uh, they're not able to do a royal marriage. It's too bad. Am I able to do a royal marriage? I think I'm, I'm able to offer it, and it doesn't doesn't say like minus a thousand reasons like you can't do royal marriages. I'm not sure. <laughs> Short long of it. I'll find that out. So, at, so after all that, the answer is I don't know. The answer is I might one day know, but I don't at the moment. Yes. Uh, I think I'm gonna immediately culture Argo, shift off of Argo. Mon culture. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to be Mon. Mon's not a good culture. We don't like that one. Okay, I'm gonna check yeah. out this. Uh, it's macro builder. Oops. Damn it. BV, you said, right? Okay. Send warning. I guess I could warn. Is it fucking worth it to warn anyone right now? Probably not. I can send uh, royal marriages. Nice. Very fancy. Yeah, that is quite nice. Why does Mongolia have no possible rivals? He's at least as big as I am. <laughs> Game, you are going to let me switch. <laughs> so Karen, Karen needs to be at least 50% of your development. It is only at 46%. Alright, so I've got, let's see, 24 versus 21. I need to do four more development, and then it's going to let me culture switch. Totally going to do it. Totally. Don't like, Why don't like your I? culture that much, huh? Yeah, I don't like it at all. It's no good, man. No bueno. I'm not sure... Okay, and it's just because you're the, uh, the, uh, the cultures around you is the big problem? Well, yeah, I just... The, the cultures that I'm... Okay, I'm looking at it from an, uh, from an, exp an expansion perspective. Mon is my primary culture. The only land that I can take... It's Mon Culture Group is owned by Ayutthaya, who I've decided to ally, or Dai Viet, which has toxic cores and I don't want. Okay. Outside of that, there's a culture called Kimmer, which is too far away for me to even really get involved with. Half of my country, though, is part of the culture group of... Uh, what's this one called? It's called... Uh, ooh, Jesus. Whoa, All right. whoa! What's going on? You're at war? Uh, yeah, Already? they just war decked me. My nearest arrival just attacked me. All right! Okay. That's exciting. How, how you feeling? Okay, so something you need to know is that uh, 
as a tribe, I believe you you get a plus 25% shock damage penalty or like advantage in in flat terrain. Well, those are going to be very different things. Do you have a do you have a clarification on that? I believe it's flat terrain I get an advantage, right? And uh, rough terrain I get a disadvantage. It should say it somewhere. I don't remember where though. Yeah, that would be good to know. Uh, not, maybe under the government. government type? It's not part of my government? Yeah, I, I just hovered over it. You've got manpower, or land force limit, looting speed, institution spread, reinforcement cost. Doesn't say anything about it there. No, but it's I think it, of your... it pops up when I... Uh, no, I don't, I don't see it now, but I remember when I fight them, sometimes there's a little like red plus or red denotation yeah. or something somewhere. Yeah, so anyway, you should you should try, if you can, to fight down in like Mergen... Or probably long. probably not, right? I mean, is, is it for attacker and defender, and isn't he a tribe? So doesn't it make absolutely no difference where I fight him? Mm, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense in this case. If, if you're both a tribe, then yeah. yeah, you'd probably prefer to just be the defender in mountains or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> right, Thanks. I hope you don't die. Thanks. I hope I don't die too. I was hoping for like a... Yeah, anyways. Okay. All right, all right. Well, I guess I can unpause. My okay, reinforcements, good. of course, the ones that are created for my stupid interaction, have been created in the far north of my country and have to walk by my enemy's stack every time they come to me. So that's good. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to pause. It's a good place for it. How's your, uh, how's your ruler? Uh, Is he super oh, come good? on. My other neighbor has just declared war on me now. So now you're defending in two wars. Uh, Simultaneously with no allies. Yep. Yeah, okay, he also called in Korchin. So you're fighting all three All of three of my fucking rivals at the start. Wow, this should be exciting. Yeah, remember how I suggested maybe you'd want to take a nation that you uh yeah you were you were considering playing as like Tai Chi or Korchin. You're like, oh, I can tan. It's twenty developments, fine. <laughs> well, they would not be uh. Oh man. All right. Well, uh, I hope your start is uh, more favorable. Should we bring this up to speed too? Go ahead if you'd like. I think you can increase it, can't you? Or is it just me? Uh, I have no option to do that. Okay. Well, I have like no money. I don't know that hiring advisors right at the start is a good idea in this in this case. I'm waiting for some diplo points so I can culture switch, culture change. Mm -hmm. Delhi's declared war. Erekan has entered into a military alliance with Lana. That's fine. So how are you gonna how are you gonna swing this? You, um, do you have any recourse, any allies, any, anything you can do at all? No, there's nothing I can do. Remember, there were no allies available to me, and I still can't get allies now because, of course, I'm at war. No, it's you're the defender though. Like you have, you can still pick up allies if you're really, really. Offer alliance minus one thousand reasons. Yervin is at war. True, but it's different when you're in a defensive war versus an offensive war. Huh. If someone likes you enough, they'll they'll still. Oh, I can. Sometimes oh, vassals can't make war. That's why. I, okay, Mongolia has a vassal. That explains it. All right, well, there's currently uh, an absolute shit ton of people in my, my country. Hey. Ming has declared a war upon Korchin. They cite forced tributary state. So Ming is going to at least relieve some, a lot, actually, of the pressure on you because he's now at war with Korchin and Jianzu. That's so pretty good. If, if, if at all possible, try to focus your armies to only engage the Haichi troops. That's the only person that's not gonna get wrecked by Ming. Okay. If I were you, I'd probably just hide my army in your capital. Just take your whole damn army to Miyu and just hide there. Wait. How's your how's your uh, commander? Uh, he's pretty decent. He's got three pips in the correct uh, correct thing to help my horses. Speaking of pips, did you see my general calculator that I made for you? I have seen it. I haven't used it. What? <laughs> I made it for you. For yeah. you. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> I didn't make it specifically for you, but I made it what? based on our discussion. I thought you made it specifically you, for me. We spent so much time, so much time trying to uh, figure out what the math would be, right? On like what a general could be. And I just realized it's just be so much easier if you made a calculator for it. Uh, it'd be fucking easier would be if I... Uh, what's the combat with here? I like how we've been playing for less than one year, and I'm looking up at your country, and I see only three provinces, four, that are not occupied. How can you even see my I, mean, I can't even see your country. Well, I have no, there's no recourse. I mean, the, one of my enemies has more troops than I do, and there's three of them attacking me. So it's like... <laughs> Consider this. Can, can you uh, right-click on 
Ming and offer to become their tributary. Will they accept you as a tributary while you're at war? Uh, where, which, where is that office? Where is that offer? Under influence actions. Uh, influence. Uh, no, minus four thousand reasons. Yeah. No. I wonder if perhaps doing that at the start of the campaign. Well, the reasons better. are not available at the start of the campaign either. I don't think so. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. Uh oh. Zoo calculation to me is minus fifty-seven already. Means I'm gonna get land taken from me right at the start. All my fucking land is mountains too, so they just don't ever attack me till I move. At least the uh, war score cost of your entire country is 122 percent, and in theory, they can't full annex you in one peace deal. If they yeah, if they is. both take a chunk out of you, then you could just be completely full annexed in this war. That'd be exciting. I've never played as a vassal. No, full annexed. Game over. Done. Dead. Oh, oh, totally eating me. Just get a game over screen, literally. Yeah. Well, there's now 32. Uh... There's a stack of 32 sieging my capital. Uh huh. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? My force limit is 14. Yeah. Well, you realize the very hard difficulty that you you <laughs> pushed for <laughs> mm -hmm. increases AI force limit and manpower by 50%. Mm -hmm. While also reducing loan cost by 2%. Also reducing unrest by like two and uh, like everything. Everything is just ridiculous. They have minus 25% uh, core costs, minus like 33% aggressive expansion. Like, this is crazy. Oh, I know, I know. They have strong bonuses. I play all my games on very hard. Yeah. Do all your games start off like this? <laughs> Generally, no. no. Generally, no. Okay. Mm. Uh, let me go figure out where the war score is. Hori. So, are you dead yet? No, I'm not dead yet. Give me time. I'm dying. Trying. Trying to die fast. I mean, Ming's fucking up one of my enemies right now. Two of my enemies right now, so I might just be able to hold out. No oh, man. I hate when you start off the campaign and you get a random stab hit. That's just not you See, cool Ming's yet. at war with all three of my, my enemies. I'm fine. It's just gonna, I just have to survive. All three? Why is he at war with, uh... I don't know why he's at war with any of them. No, he's not at war with Haichi. If you click on Ming and click on E, it shows him as red. Oh, not to Haichi, the other two. Why? It showed him red. I must have clicked on something wrong then. Maybe I still no, have me selected. Exactly what I said, is you should focus your armies on the Haichi troops, because he's at war with the other two. Oh, well, I'm trying not to get stab-hitting war, war things from my enemies right now, so, uh... Okay, Ming's got a 20 stack in there, maybe he can do some shit here. That's right, Ming. Relieve my sieges. That'd be helpful. Well, I hate to say it, but it's already that time. Well, good. It's been an exciting, exciting time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're going to take a break here, but we'll be back in a little bit. Thanks for watching, as always. If you want to show your support, feel free to click the like button, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.